Scottsdale, Arizona, at the Barrett Jackson Car Auction, the world's greatest classic car collection. Where who would have thought they sell art? I'm Allison Simmons. I am a painter, acrylic on canvas, and I paint cars. And my favorite thing is to paint the chrome, the colors, the reflections. I love everything shiny about the cars. The lines, I love the aesthetics. This is my fifth year here. Yeah, and I, I love it. I love being here. Are you, where are you located? Um, Springfield, Missouri. Okay, and you flew here with all of your cameras? No, we drove. We're road warriors. <laughs> so you do multiple car shows. Where are we going to see you next? Um, I will be at the Branson Auto Auction okay. in Missouri. Yeah. All right, thank you. And if you love Corvettes, here's Dana Forrester. I am Dana Forrester. I've been painting the automotive series since about 1990. And I bought my first Corvette, 66 Red Stingray. It was a car of my dreams. Well, I started to paint that, and uh, I really had good success with that. It was a huge success. So that launched me in the direction of the Corvette. G Clay came along in 2005, and that allowed me to uh, create prints 10 at a time if I wanted to and I didn't have to carry huge inventories. I do all my work in watercolor. It is unusual to find people that will use a great amount of detail in watercolor. I've had uh, entered a lot of the art competitions and won many awards with those. So it's, uh, it's a style that uh, I've become known for. Uh, no one does it. Uh, a person in my display yesterday was saying, well, you can't do that with watercolor. I said, oh, why? Well, it's not possible. I said, here it is. And here's something else. The internationally celebrated artist dedicated to all things cool, Scotty Ziegler. Hi, I'm Scotty Ziegler. I'm an artist I'm from San Diego, California, and uh, we're here at Barrett Jackson just doing the show. It's not just about cars, it's about style, it's about what, where the buzz is, what's going on, and I think I got my line on the pulse of what's going on. Here's one of my pieces, this is 2020 Vision. It's all about, you know, the great car, but it's also about the girl, the parties in the shadow. I try and do things that are a little off the, off the grid, I guess, and, um, that's what my stuff is all about. I've been doing Barrett about 12 years. I got a nice following, great people, and collectors that once they get one of my pieces because I'm a little outside the box, their friends come over, they're like, oh man, I need it. I need another piece. Once they're interested, they keep staying. They're awesome, I've got great collectors. These are acrylic on canvas, and I'm trying to do everything that's a, a little out of the box. I want things to look realistic. I want it to have almost a photographic feel, and sometimes I go super tight, other times I go a little bit looser. So my process is confusing in my own head, how's that? And I'm kind of all over the map, so that's pretty much me. <laughs> well, I love it. And after this video, head on over to Scotty's YouTube channel to check out some of his content. Moving on, let's talk to the Dutch artist Arthur Benjamins. My name is Arthur Benjamins. I'm at Barrett Jackson at the moment in Scottsdale, Arizona. In my main forte are motor racing paintings. I've been doing them for about 50 odd years. My work started off very graphic, then I moved into my abstract iconography and then back into my um, photorealism work, which I perfected when I was in the UK, I made a reputation there because no motoring artist actually did the photorealistic work in the motor racing world. So when I finally bade goodbye to that in the late 1990s, I went over to a more graphic style and now I'm beginning to perfect what I'm doing at the moment. Of course there's no way of saying will I stick with that, I will probably develop and move along as an artist, there's absolutely no way you should hang to what you're doing, but continue to explore, there's so much of it about. I use acrylic paint, I pioneered the use of enamel paints when I was in the UK. The enamel paint is a very smooth, very smooth surface, you can still work with it, it's tricky, it took me many years to perfect. Now I live in the UK to obtain 
the enamel paint is quite difficult, hazmat rules, so I went over to acrylic, which allows me to work in with extreme spontaneity, it dries quick as well, so I'm beginning to understand how that medium works. But if it's smooth, it's flat, it dries up nicely, and that's how I continue. Thank you. You're welcome, thanks for having me. All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time. Oh, oh, so please,